Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Uncensored Philly Sports Podcast. And we're your hosts. Um, been an interesting week, I must say. We had the introductory press conference for Dal Mori. And I got to say, I was pretty impressed from what I heard. Um, tell me, fellas, what y'all think about the new president of the 76ers? He's here to bring in James Harden. And once he brings James Harden in, then I appreciate him being here. Other than that, it's, it's, you, got, you got to show me something. Like, all right, you here, that's, that's what's up. But with all these big time free agents moving back and forth, we got to gotta make a splash. We got to. <clears throat> and I don't want to do it at the expense of, uh, you know, going too hard, but they talking about Giannis might be trying to get out of there to go to Golden State or something or, or, or with KD and, and the don't Nets. Don't nobody and all that. care about Golden State. They done. Finito. No, Golden State not done. All right, here's what I said. One of the biggest trades that's been, that's been um, around, that's been going around the last couple of days is James Harden getting him into Philadelphia. One thing that Daryl Morey did was when he get when he gave his his at the end of the, he I think he took an article out in Houston and he said James Harden changed my life, and everybody said that that's the one person that he wants in Philadelphia. And what, like, what, why did he say James Harden changed his life? What do you mean by that? I don't know. Okay. You are horrible at this. Too. Stop, yeah. making, stop putting up quotes. You, That's what you don't even know who he quoting. He it was probably somebody called Daryl from Grandma's Basement See. on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, man. He really did say that because everybody kept saying that like, his influence on James. Who's everybody? Who's everybody? The media, the, okay. the media, and everybody. I, look at it, Mister. So no he research. so he said this. He said James. Hart- I, I researched. I didn't research. Yeah, he that said interview. I did the right. James Harden interview. changed his life. So he influ- influenced James Harden to, to play flop ball. That was him. He did that. Darmar, he remember he he the one who got Ma- Yao Ming, Tracy McGrady. Yep. He's done a lot of things in Houston. It's not. It didn't just start with James Harden. They say every year that he was the general manager, his teams were in the playoffs. Yeah, he's never had he's never had a losing se- a losing season. So, oh, so I mean, Tim, I guess you feel in a different way now toward Elton Brand than you felt last week. I, I do. And let me tell you. Oh, why. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you, yeah. I do. And ah. let me tell you, I forget. And I'm glad you brought that up. I forgot that he was promoting that TJ McConnell crap when he was here. So I was like, yeah, TJ, he won a lot of games for us. He was promoting TJ playing viable minutes. It took Jimmy Butler to get TJ, TJ McConnell on a bench. No, I don't, I don't think that was promoting. I think he, he didn't I, stop it. He didn't stop it. But I think the general he, manager got a lot of power. Uh, he really, I think Elton, but, Elton was. I think Elton was a a, a, um, a figurehead. Not a, no, I, not necessarily a figurehead. Elton was here to to draw in talent, to draw to 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 be the person to communicate with the players because the Sixers had no basketball people. I don't care what they want to call Brett Brown. Brett Brown has no communication with nobody. Respects Brett Brown. Elton Brand was the basketball dude. That's why I like the move. That I like the fact that they got Doc. I like the fact that they got Maury, and I like the stuff that they talk. Both of them both say how they um they like the most. They don't have to. Maury was saying how he doesn't have to have three point shooters to win. He don't feel like that. Yeah. He feels like you could just take the talent that you have and you use your team that way to use their best talents. So you so you turned on Elton Brand because you thought you you reflected on him promoting <laughs> TJ McConnell. Yeah, I, I don't do think, no. but to my thing, I don't think he promoted TJ. I think he was kind of he realized that he was a fan favorite. And he was a lot of. I agree. They used to go down to the game. I was appalled at it, but the fans he used to get in the game, and the fans used to go off. TJ, oh, he's hustling all over the place. So I think Elton was just stating the obvious that he was kind of said, well, you know, he he hustled. I say this, he ain't bring him back. If he right. loved him so much, he tried to resign him. He was not concerned about bringing TJ back, and and I, and I think he was better for it. Yeah. But I wouldn't put that on him like he really. I think no, TJ. I think Tim using that as a scapegoat. He, for he turning on, for turning on Elton Daryl Morey, he's seen what he did. He's seen yeah. what he's capable of. Now he so back he's like, listen. D- yep, yep. He's like, listen. I don't want the hand. I don't want no. this franchise. I mean, track track it, it appears that way. <laughs> it definitely does. <laughs> but what I will say is that I believe that Elton Brand can learn a lot from him, and so even that's if- what I said. Like that. that. He did. He, he did that. said. That's exactly what he said. Well, why y'all bringing up old stuff? <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's true. But I, I agree. I'm saying I, I can make. I'm. 
unlike you, Ethan, I can admit when you know what. Yeah, Ethan don't never like to admit do it, bro. He'll he never run. He'll never run. Bro, he changed change the narrative like four times before yeah. he admit that he was wrong. So I'm saying, but you know what? Alton can learn from Just him. last week. What? That was last week. Thanks to my email. That video, that no, video, email. Yeah. yeah, email fraud too. I'm going to call you out, email. I'm going to call you out. But peace of the game. Let's, let's, you know what? I'm going to talk about that another time, right? We're going to talk about that. I'll talk that about that later. So everybody but on board with Daryl Maury being here. If he bring in Harden, he I'm will bring Harden in. Would you trade me. Benjamin David Simmons? Who's my pen? Yes, I'm gonna write a big yes on this paper. Yeah. Wayne, Wayne, the I, only one who still got hope for Ben Simmons that he could become. Trade ben? No, it's not. It's not necessarily about hope. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. If that's the only trade that I have, then yeah. But if you're telling me if some kind of way I could work something else out and keep Ben Embiid and add, like if I could add a Buddy Hill and keep Ben Embiid, or I could add a a, a, a Booker some kind of way with, I, I don't know. If it's some kind of way I can add talent without getting rid of each, I don't feel like I have to get rid of Ben in order for my team to be better. How much talent do we need? Like, how? All right, we need shooters. We need a shooter. We need a. We need a a a true starting point a two guard. All right, how much talent? Because look look at Miami, right? Was that just last year? You think this? Do you think this coming year it won't be what it was last year? Was that just like a a, a aberration? Yeah, well, because see, well, of, you know what, you know what's funny though. It, I I agree with you, Ethan. That's why I come. I don't necessarily feel like it's a whole big thing where the Sixers actually have to do this whole, huge overhaul. I, it, my thing is, if you, I thought the Sixers had a decent roster the last few years. I just feel like the coach was a big, a big yeah, detractor a, of the team. Coaching is a big, is, is huge. I, I mean, I think. Um, I, I personally I think, think, I think that. that I, go ahead. Go ahead. What's your thought? Go ahead. What I'm you think? No, I was saying about, <clears throat> I mean, maybe this is where you was going. If if we get, if we trip, or Wayne kind of saying, I guess you want to keep Ben, you want to get Harden and somehow we get rid of Horford and, and all these other drones and keep Harden, I mean, keep Ben, B, Tobias and Harden. If you keep all of them on the team, you better win the championship. That's all I got to say. If you keep all them dudes and you get rid of that, your bench is probably going to be a little thin. Cause now you got big contracts. You are gonna be like Golden State top when they had Kevin Durant. With that being said, you still better win a championship. See, you was, better win a chip. If I was the Eagles, I mean, if I was the Sixers, I would. If I can't trade Al Horford, I would just buy him out and then get some money. You, get, you, you get gotta them. move. You gotta move on. Al Horford, Al Horford cannot. Al Horford cannot be here next year. That's what I'm saying. I would buy him out. Did you hear? Would you? Would you go for um, Gordon Hayward? Rumor no. has it he wants. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna. No. Uh, no. Yeah, but what you got to pay him? If I if I could get a Gordon Hayward here, and I have to break the bank with him, so you telling me I can have Gordon Hayward at the uh, small and Tobias at the power and with Bead and Ben and I mean whoever we putting at the two, I'll take that. He would get he would get our money, probably maybe. I, no, ain't nowhere in the world. He coming off an injury. His his last season wasn't a standout season, so I mean, He's, would he be able to command that type break? He's old, thirty-four million this year. They say he's going to opt out. Mm. So, he uh, so he probably think he can get <laughs> a big deal. No, because this is last year, and I think he's looking for more uh, length. You know what I mean? He can't even stay yeah. healthy. Yeah, I know. He can, that's why. Yeah. That's why he wants to live because he can't. It's not his health, right? It's not going to be a bidding war. But what I what I see, what I test to see if we can. Yes, I would too. He might as well take the thirty-four million and keep and go and go somewhere else, like and just either retire. He that injury was nasty. Awesome. I don't think this, I don't think he ever goes to, fully recover. Listen uh, to a point that one of y'all was just making talking about the Sixers would be top heavy, so they got to win. The Sixers was top heavy when they had that team that should have won. <laughs> when they had Jimmy and all right, who was our bench? TJ. That was coaching. We should have won. But that's what we I'm saying. Won. What I I'm, but this is what I'm saying. Like they had that top heavy team, and that was a good team, and that team should have. Definitely did better than they did. I thought they should have went to the finals myself. Yeah, but Raptors. I agree. Don't let's not act like Toronto. Toronto's a good coach team too. We still okay. should have won that series. Though. We still <laughs> should have won that series. No, see, and I hate when people keep saying Toronto was a good, good team. They were a good team, but and they try to remember Casey that they fired, but they don't talk about the fact that they brought in Kawhi the next year. It's not like he had Kawhi the whole time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then then this year they went far too. They lost in seven. So. Like they always did. <laughs> no, they was getting swept. They was getting swept by LeBron. No, they was. They wasn't getting swept. They was. They yes, was they was. They was doing sick. And again, they was going against LeBron. 
Yeah, but they was getting swept. They but they was going against LeBron. LeBron. They was going Le- LeBron at his prom. I, I understand. But I'm just, you know, but LeBron out the East, the East is kind of wide open. Exactly. But I'm saying it wasn't exactly. related. It wasn't because of this big, great coach team. It was because. I mean, the crazy part is we just lose to Miami. See, that's my thing with the six, even the Sixers roster. I, now, do I want to improve it? Absolutely. But I do think that there is some talent. I don't think that they complete trash. They was winning 26, 26 and two at home. They, they was 26 and two at home. So they had some kind something. But then when they got on the road, when you're on the road, that's when, to me, that's where it kicks in with coaching. You're on the road. You don't got that fan base behind you. You need that coach to reel you in at times and give you that extra whatever you need. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's what they was missing. That's why they would get lose on the road. They say and, a lot of think times. About, think about games like this against Miami. They got they was beat Miami till Miami went to a zone. This coach didn't know how to coach his team to play against a zone. Yeah. Another thing they said was the Sixers didn't really hang out on the road. They 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 said they traveled for big road crew. And a lot of times teams would um they said Miami Heat, what they would do is regard win or lose, they would eat dinner and everything with each other. They said the Sixers would go with their squad, everybody had their own squad or posse that they would roll with. So it kind of it was always a separation. And a lot of times, and that was that's related to leadership. That starts that starts from the top. Because so I, Ben and B Ben and B the clowns. That they're, they're two different types of people. Ben, which which you why, why you call him clown? Neither one is really a leader, Ben or B. I agree. I mean, I I can agree with that. So they need um, an old head like Doc Rivers. <clears throat> they need you think Hart, uh, What you think about Hart? You think Hart can come in here and be the leader? I don't think Hart is a leader either. So, so leader, that's why I say say I think a player. I think a Devin Booker is. A uh, uh, Devin Booker is that's my ideal player to fit in on this roster. If we could get him some kind of way, I don't think we can. I agree. I mean, I'm not. Listen, extra- you go yeah. ahead. Ben and Devin on the same roster. Do you why know not? why? Why? Uh, Kendall. Know why? Why? Yes. Dinner. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I actually forgot. I actually forgot. I about forgot. That. Never mind. Get rid of Ben and keep Ben bringing books for <laughs> yeah, That just wouldn't work. That that's the yeah. you got your old girl chilling with you with the oh that's probably. see why these dudes keep passing around these thoughts and never mind. That's a whole different topic. Yeah, new topic. Yeah, that's I don't know why they, yeah, that's oh boy. You know, I just I don't know to change the subject, but I thought Doug said he was bringing Eagles players in during the week, and Carson Wentz is out training his dogs on bye week. Y'all see that? Nah. Hold up. Didn't, Car- didn't Doug say he's bringing players in on the bye week? Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, we're, about to, we're gonna get some Eagles talk in because we got like, we got we definitely yeah, bring, to bring that up because I gotta address that. I gotta, <laughs> address that. I, I got to address that. You still gotta no. live though, don't he? No. Not Your after life that is, game, not after that game, he just played it, exactly. Listen, he, I mean, he it, need to be like R. Kelly, like, I'm playing for my life. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Stop playing with me. All right, Stop don't playing. forget, everybody. We are the uncensored podcast. We're now on Twitter, so follow us on Twitter. So now you can catch us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Spotify. It says a little bi week dog training. Carson, yeah. uh, is he training his dog to catch? That's it. probably training him to hunt. <laughs> uh, it, you know what? Never mind. Let me keep my so no, so, so, so these, they, they, <laughs> Let me do it. He better, let's, he better ball. He don't better ball. Yeah, he bro. So the so it looks like it's going to be a fish of the six that the Sixers and the NBA is going to return on the twenty second of December. Oh, all so right. it's literally going to be yeah. only two months that they're going to have off. I mean, the last game that they had was October 11th. When's the draft? The 18th. Mm. They're going to get LeBron hurt. So no, LeBron said he, LeBron already said he's not playing if they come back that early. He said he was, cherry picking for the first two months. Something he said like that. Yeah, if I was LeBron, if I did play, it, it, I'll I'll be real uh, tentative with it. I would do a whole bunch of clock management with the not clock management game, game management. No, I would that, do all. I do all that, and all, at least until like another month to make sure my body's right. Because it'd be it'd be a travesty you go out there and get a dumb injury just because you're trying to force it. That's so. that's really not fair to them dudes that just finished playing in a bubble. That's There's only two. It's only two teams. I mean, they had four months off first of all, and then they came back and played. And a lot of teams opted out, didn't even play. So really, the impact is two teams. It's going to impact Miami, and it's going to impact. Los Angeles and Los Angeles. Is going to change. That, well, first of all, that's your, your number one. Your face of the league is impacted for one. 
LeBron. You just got to have pace. Who, Steph Curry? It's all about money, man. It's all about money. Listen, Steph, it, it's going to give Steph an opportunity to get an a, a early jump on the season. It is. And uh, it to is. rack up some wins. It, I can't wait to Golden wins. State start <laughs> off like like 4 and 13 and Steph Curry come up with another injury. Nah, that ain't going to happen. They're going to start doing another 70, a 73 and 9 again. You think they trading that pick? Which one? Oh, yeah, the, tech, the second pick. I mean, for real, for real, I. They might be all right even if they pick up the ball boy. Like they pick up ball and put him at the guard at, at the at another guard position. Because Steph, for real rap, Steph is pretty much a shooting guard anyway. So if you pick up Lonzo and put Lonzo at the at the at the point, you still got Kyrie. I mean uh Clay at the at the three, Dray, Draymond at the four. You need a center. I don't know who they center. I think Kev Looney still got him. And you Clay got, I mean, Steph at the at the at the two. What's the name is your two? Wiggins or your three? Wiggins is your three. I forgot to ask about Wiggins. Yeah, you know what? I forgot about that. They yeah, trade. Mean, they probably oh. traded then. Yeah. They probably traded. Who they gonna trade it for? Is that what? <laughs> is that what they talking about trading Giannis for? And then he gonna be their center? So, so let me ask you. Is, all right, since we talking, about, oh, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. What did you guys say? Why would you would draft you like Lamelo? He's coming in as a young player, like and going against veterans who actually won NBA titles. I'm thinking they're going to try to move that pick. I don't think they're going to sit there and take a number two pick when you got six or seven year veteran. I mean, they eight nine year veterans at this point. Then you got on top of um everybody else on the team. Would you really just put a rookie in there and think you're going to win a title with a rookie coming in? But who's to say that they necessarily going to put the rookie in? They maybe they're putting that rookie in a position where he don't he doesn't have to carry the team. I mean, think about when the Lakers got Kobe. They got Kobe. Kobe was coming in. Kobe was coming off the bench, he, and he got groomed. And then finally, when he was like ready, Kobe. But like they didn't win. Go to like State to win now. Mo- like Magic Johnson. The yeah, Ma- but they could still be in the win. They could still be when the when the Lakers went and got Kobe. They still was in the win. Now they just had horrible coaching. They had Nick Van Exel, Eddie Jones. Like you know what I'm saying, that Eldick. was a nice squad. They, they I mean, like, yeah. I mean, Magic Johnson did it with the. I mean, granted, we talking about decades ago, but he was a rookie when they won the championship. They, yeah, but Magic was Magic came in and was being like the man on that squad, though. I mean, it's like, no, nah, Kareem was still the man at the time. That's Kareem the was the man, but Magic was that. Magic, oh, Magic. I mean, Magic, Magic ain't come in playing no. Magic my, came in balling. But my point is, he was Kareem able to won ball because he Kareem won um, MVP of the finals that year. My, yeah, my, but Magic came in balling though from the. But gym. my point is, I'm not. My point is, he came in balling because he had other Bulls around him to take away the attention. He wasn't the main focal point that Bulls is focusing on. So it, it would be the same thing for Lonzo. Even though, like he said, I forgot about Wiggins. So I think they probably gonna try to trade for a center. But if they didn't have Wiggins and they and they want to trade, draft, bring Lonzo in there, I think it might be a good move. Lonzo ain't gonna have no pressure being the Lamello. star. You got, you got. But especially the way Golden State play. Even if Lonzo came in there and technically LaMelo. played, uh, but I said Lonzo, Lamelo came in there <laughs> and played the the guard. They don't run a traditional point guard system, so it, it ain't like he gonna have to come in there and facilitate and make sure this ball. He just gonna have to fall into the system. He, he got height. He shoot. He can run the floor. We saw that system how it works without players. But a center, Ephraim. They trying to say trade the white. You, you who listen, trying to trade the white? I mean, they trying to sign the white on the offseason. I heard uh, that too. Um, I did hear that. You think Milwaukee well, gonna give up that two for Giannis and, and something else? Maybe, maybe Wiggins, Giannis, and I mean Wiggins and number two. I heard Giannis. today that Giannis is, is is committed for another year in Milwaukee. That's what I'm saying. Milwaukee might think if he yeah, but walks Milwaukee after this year, they, it's kind of like that situation where AD was in his last year. Remember, they was trying to. Uh, trade AD so they could get something for him, but they just blew that whole joint up because uh, the Lakers was being too presumptuous. And if you think if you think Gian- Giannis won't walk and you ain't gonna get nothing, you as a management team say, you know what, I take the two and draft the player to two instead of staying another year for Giannis, possibly not winning nothing, and then this dude walk. Right. So I thought I have to. Milwaukee needs to add a piece. They should go after the young boy too. Remember the young boy who was balling for um. Utah was on the Sixers. What's the ball name? Um, he's on Sixers. Uh, Grant. Yeah, Jeremiah. Is it Grant? He no, no, no. Agent. He was. He was on OKC. He was on OKC. Who's Who's the ball on, on just Utah? Utah? Was it Grant? Grant was on Oklahoma. Jeremy Grant. Yeah, wasn't That's he on Utah? Utah? Uh, wasn't he? He was with OKC, right? No, no, no. He was just with um with. He was just with Denver. Utah. He's with Denver. Denver. I'm sorry. Denver. 
Denver, Denver. yeah. <clears throat> they need yeah. somebody like him. I wonder if Denver for of... real. I wonder if Denver gonna be for real. If, is Jamal Murray for real? Or that just bubbled Jamal. Uh, <laughs> I tell you was what. Only... Cause he was only averaging 18 points a game that whole season. Then all of a sudden he started dropping in all these 40 point games and 50 point games. If if he don't, he will forever be, it, it will always be two Jamal's. It'll be <laughs> Jamal <laughs> and Bubble Jamal. <laughs> so he better come out balling. Cause if not, yeah. he always go ahead that title. Where is Bubble that, Jamal? That's the type of one, two punch out one. That's why I want like Booker or Harden. Yeah, I agree. I want that one two punch that Denver has. Or if Ben comes in, but that's the whole is that the real punch they got? They only had for that stretch in the bubble. I still been doing that year. No, he was only average 18 points a game all year. 18 points. You act like that's different. nothing. Oh, but when Ben averaged 17, you say that's trash though. Ben ain't never averaged 17. Ben ain't never averaged 17. Like 16 9. 16 9. <laughs> ben different because he only shoot. We know that's a different 17. That's so, so, so it's only if it shoots. So if you get if you get some if you get near the same points, but you get double the rebounds and assists, it don't matter. Yes, because come playoff time, way. because playoff time is all going. To uh, be listen, all I'm saying is if only, if Jamal Murray is only averaging 18 points a game, that's trash. That ain't that ain't that one two punch you hyping up that was in that, the bubble. That is a good one two punch. In the bubble, it was yes. Who yeah. had this many points in the playoffs? Don't matter. <laughs> that's old stuff. That's, uh, you bringing up old stuff. Don't, don't do that. All right, Trash so truck. We juice. had about three. We had good four days to um to let that game that we saw on Thursday sink in. We got the win against a very bad Dallas team. We on a buy. We are on a buy right now. Mid year. Carson Wentz right now has 16 turnovers thus far. He's leading the league, the entire league. He has How many games we played? Eight. He got seven, eight games? Yeah, eight games, 16 turnovers. Yeah. Only the Cowboys have more turnovers than him. That's was that when they had Dak? That was with Dak. No, Dak, Dak went down. We, we, we're trying to focus on our team. <laughs> <laughs> so is it time? No. After a couple of days, no, man. are you no. ready? No. no. So how much time do you I mean even if you would you bench him for a game? Carson Wentz is not getting benched this year. Um Carson Wentz is Carson Wentz is gonna be the quarterback for the next two years. They might even end up trading away the young ball. No, oh. that now that I don't agree. I think I think if Carson oh, doesn't straighten himself out this year, it's gonna be open competition next next uh, preseason. I agree. I agree I that as a matter of fact, if he don't get back from this dog walking trip or uh, hunting trip that he going on. This is this, this the stuff that <clears throat> all right. See, this this is stuff I'm talking about. I think you now, go in. Go in. Everybody got their free will to move and shake how they want to on their off on their off week, right? Yep. Some boys even go out of state, they go to Florida, or whatever, chill, just get some downtime. That that's all well and good. But if, as the quarterback in the mic. And and you're supposed to be searching for greatness, right? And, and maybe, maybe he needs to clear his head. Maybe. But you playing this bad, I mean, I hate to be the dude that that try to dictate what you do with your time, but I'm being that dude. Because you've been stinking it up. And, and not all the way. Everything wasn't your fault. But this last game was a culmination of having a pretty iffy season. And now you out. And apparently, this is if this is true, i got to fact check Ethan. If all the other players is coming back in, and different players come back in to work with Doug on this off week, which y'all normally don't do, but he's saying, yo, we got to fix some things. And you out training your dogs how to... I don't know if the other players is back in, but what Ethan said was... I'm done. That Doug said he was going to have the players in. That, from what I saw, that's what that's what Doug said, too. Well, they yeah. nobody went away this year because of COVID. They wanted everybody to stay in the same um, vicinity. So they... they but he said... He, but them. Doug said he wanted them working on things in this... Bye week, the street. He was stuff. talking like I'm bringing. He's talking like Doug was talking like I'm bringing them back to the building. Maybe Even though that might right. technically, that technically might be illegal. That might be against the rules. I Maybe. don't know. Yeah, that could be part of collective bargaining. Like you can't, you could. They need that time off. It's yeah. their time. Yeah. But they need to be doing this finding the kicker in these next two weeks. No, that's true too. I get it. No, no. <laughs> Here's the thing. It just dawned on me. Usually, when you have a buy, the coach will let you off the rest of the week. But they do have to come back on that, that Tuesday or Wednesday to get treatment. He said, I'm going to have them in. Now they're off the rest of the week, which is the day. This is why he's doing dog training. But usually, if you're, coach, if, you, if you're doing good, my team's rolling, 
Go ahead, y'all. After the game, I see y'all next Tuesday. That's how. Right. That's how the UV is. A football, a football player's job is to play football. Like if you, maybe I'm different, and maybe I became up. So you came up in the legend in, in the in the era to me of legends, where obviously Jordan, Jerry Rice, Montana. I mean, maybe with maybe with the NFL films that that skewed my mind, Walter Payton and all these dudes. But these dudes was on another level of work at But see, like, hold on. Let me let me just throw this in, into your argument so you can have this in the back of your mind. Go ahead. It was yeah. that before social media. No, that's true. That's I don't true. Even that's think what, it's because of social media, though. I honestly Oh, but what I'm saying is social no, media, you see everything they do. Yeah, that's what Ethan's saying. And I got that. I mean, because they they could be doing some other stuff, but I doubt it. I seen Walter Payton run up hills and all this stuff like that. He had a hill built behind his crib just to make sure he was the best. And, and I, I see, I'm, but, I'm but see, you see, and I get though. that, and I get that. But you, you realize like most of the most of the players back me. then wasn't training all year round. That's how come training camp was so important. These dudes would sit around doing nothing all off season. The guys that was only bums. That was only bums. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it I was. used to go to the Eagle training camps. Those boys used to come in all fat and out of shape, and they was working. They that's why they would be up there throwing up and stuff when they was. Who, who, who was it? What's their names? Huh? You don't Reggie know. Reggie White used to come in that door out of shape. Yes, no, he, he did. Didn't. No, he didn't. Jerome, Reggie, Clyde, no. all of them. No, no. They all gone. And that's they where all they, gone and that, too. And that's what. That's what training camp. <laughs> training camp was there specifically for you to come back and get in shape. This that's is how why Charles Barkley never won. That's April, why, April, that's your, why that those loud. guys would be out there throwing up and yeah, everything else and, and then that heat <laughs> and everything else. Cause see, that's what training camp was. No, but that's, see, that's my point though. That's my point. I'm talking about with the greats. As a quarterback, you, Walter Payton, all time great. Yeah. Jerry Rice, they said his work ethics was second to none. The boy T.O. tried to work out with you. You know, T.O. was a workout phenomenon. He couldn't even keep up with the GOAT. These dudes, that's what I'm saying. Like at a certain point, you got to master your craft. Is he really mastering his craft? But he, some of them, no, no, I agree that he was, not, But you, you got to see, it's, it's a whole no. different era now. Those, right now. Them can athletes back then, you had dudes. No, you can't. Wayne, stingy. No. Them athletes, I, I shut up for the first half hour because y'all was talking that foolishness. But <laughs> you look at people like Ronnie Lott that's going to cut their finger off so they could play in the game and stuff like yes. that. That's, that was the mindset. You mean that? Yeah, you like, like that's good. And, and he, regretted, he, he regretted that. He still regretted it. He was stupid. No, he yes, no, he, he do. He see, still see, regretted it. That was They dumb. were stupid. But this is that was the mind. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you got to get out of that mindset. No, I'm not because I was in the same mindset. Like I'm gonna kill myself all season round so I can do this that and up. And guess yeah. what? That's why them boys be dying early because they yeah. hold on, themselves. hold on, wait. I got to correct something you said. Wait, what's up? Training camp is not for you to get in shape. Yes, you it is. Get in shape on your own. No, it's not. No, it's Training not. Camp is not designed now. To, now it's not. Back then it was. Back then it was. That's oh, why man. it was called training camp. You're training yourself back into shape. That's what training camp was for. No, you train, training camp is training you how to play football. It's training you to plays that they play. It's not to get no, you No, it wasn't. Shape. If you want, you should have been no. in shape. That's Being what the shape is up to you. That's why they have. That's why they have incentives. That's why they have incentives built into the contracts that you work out in the off season. You come back and you can hit that incentive. That's not that's what training what was, camps man. was back in the day. Training but, camps was to get back in shape. Listen, my thing is, you the players have, you used have, it to get back in shape. But look, but look. But that we 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 way past that era. Yeah. You got dudes, videos of dudes working out all off season. Most of your great players, most of your very good players, are working out all off season. Now, is it like a strenuous take yourself? No, but they come back in tip top condition, ready to go. Is this dude mine built for that? Is he the dude who taking this game like yo? I'm trying to be the best player I could be on all levels. I'm questioning that now. But you saying, I'm was questioning he, that. So was he, was he training though? Because they said he came back stronger and with more weight. That's why he able to take that contact. He ate his, I don't think that he was, was training. I think the baby threw him off. That was the food that he gave with all that weight trying to talk about some of his muscles. You took my weight. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> he looked a little bit stronger. He looked like he pushing people off and, and taking hits now. Yeah, this is, the baby, 16, the baby, 16 the turnovers. Baby to me, long. to me, this is how, this is how I view professional sports, right? Your window of prof professional sports is so small. All this other stuff that you want to do, I want to be a hunter. I want to be a rap. I want to be a, I want to be a snowboarder. I want to be in the X Games. Like, yo, you just concentrate strictly on your craft for the 10, 12 years it's going to last. Because once that's going, it's going. You could do a lot of the other stuff. I, I, I forget, it was an interview, somebody said that. And they said they regret 
I, I, I so you said just remember. ignore, ignore your family, ignore your friends. No, 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 no. Just focus on the sport. No, 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 no. I agree. No, 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 no. I'm not talking. About, I'm talking about. All <laughs> that's why, and that's why, and that's when they kids grow up and write a book about them. Talk about they. <laughs> I'm not talking about that though. But it is okay. some dudes who went like Deion Sanders, you know, Emmitt Smith. They talk about how they sacrifice their families for the for greatness. But I'm not talking about that. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about just all these other additional hobbies that you got going on, like. All right, do you need something else? Yeah, you do. I'm not saying all football, all football, all football. But you got to remember, like, how much time is you devoting to this other stuff and taking away from positive from your craft? Maybe that's why he playing like garbage. Maybe that's why he holding on to the ball when there's nobody there and he's just throwing away and he holding on to getting sacked and taking a fumble. Maybe he ain't mentally doing these exercises that he should be doing when he worry about dog walking and dog hunting and dog training and hunting. Like, something is up. I agree. I agree. And I'm getting irritated. Because I like Carson, but he listen, got me the bad. Greats, the so, greats to me, the great players, just look at all the great players, the LeBrons, the Jordans, the Kobe's. A million dollars a year for his body. These dudes, LeBron's. that that's what they, you don't see, you don't see Kobe out there swinging a golf club. You know he do sometimes. You don't see Kobe out there with a bow and arrow hunting. And you know, it's the only thing you see Jordan doing is all the time was playing some golf. You only see him doing all this other extra stuff, man. He did Honestly, a lot of gambling. See, I'm about to say, don't don't that act was like different. he was just he gambled on he gambled on so, okay. golf. So when so when LeBron and D Wade out on the boat with their wives and families and chilling, they were they they ain't never do they work out all year. They didn't, they didn't do that during the bye week. They didn't do that during the bye week. They don't go to the extreme. Listen. I'm not saying don't take care of your family. What bye week? What week you got in basketball? Okay, when, when, so when, when, you, when you sweep a team and you got some time off. That's not no bye week. Stop it. Oh, Listen, sorry, just re remember when the New York Giants had the bye for the playoffs and they all went on the boat? Yep. <laughs> Dumb stuff like that is what I'm talking about. And they came back and took an L. And they came back yes. and lost. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm Sometimes, talking about. Sometimes, like, you, the season's only, but, what, 16 weeks? Uh, you might as well just wait till afterwards and then just. That's what I'm saying. You got, you got all. The season so ends. So, in so Tom Brady, so Tom Brady never did nothing on his off on no. his bye week. No, no Tom, Tom Brady. You sure about that? He Tom looked Brady at the sport. game film of his You're opponent. Sure about that? Tom Brady Giselle sport. stayed in the news or something, going somewhere and doing something. Listen, to Giselle said Giselle says how obsessed Tom Brady is with football. Okay. And she said she realizes that all the other stuff that he wants to do, he'll do after the fact. But right now, he actually sacrifices time with Giselle. And Giselle's understanding because you know how passionate he's about the game. And That's the Bible will great. call her a capable wife. Yes, very <laughs> true. <laughs> she fits the bill. But that's what I'm saying. Like, and Tim made the point, and it's a very good point. The football season is from September, well, August, pretty much. Let's say July, you start training camp. July to January. So you got February, March, April, June. You got all that time to do what you want to do. Then do it. Like, stop, stop, stop playing with me. This is the craziness. You out here playing like trash, and then you got nerve to take a vacation and, and, and hunt with dogs. Stop. Where's Jalen at? I, I bet you Jalen ain't hunting. I bet you Jalen got his head, head neck deep in the uh in the playbook. And when he come back, he's gonna take one's job and what's gonna deserve because he played himself. All right, Ethan. I, I need, need Ethan, I need to give me your <laughs> NFL midseason grades. You ready? Best team. Steelers. Worst team. Oh, what you say? Who's the best team? Steelers. Yeah, you gotta say they undefeated. Worst team so far. The Jets. Surprising team. I will say the Browns, but then they just lose to the, the Raiders are the surprise team. I'll say that. All right. Best quarterback. No other than do I go? I, I gotta go with Pat because Russ Russ threw all them picks last time. So I'll go with Pat. He still took like five touchdowns that game, I think. Worst QB. Um, is Dak playing? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you such a see. This is where Go ahead. I knew I should have went with first. Go ahead. Who you... <laughs> uh, man, who's the worst team? Is who's the quarterback on the Jets? I don't even know. Who's your best defensive player? Um, uh, the boy, the guy from the Browns. Um, what's his name? The end. Miles Garrett. Who's your MVP? If the season stopped right now, it, it might be Russell. Russell. That's, I can't complain with your list. Wayne, best team. Not participating. 
don't pop no list up like this on me on no Thursday evening. You ain't never said nothing about nothing. Now you want me to come up off the top of my head, just say some some boulder dash. So then April, that's April, April, you, you, like, April, you participate? Wayne said the ball was such and such. Maybe he hyped the yeah, ball. Yeah, that is nutty because then your email, nope. your email gonna record something, they're gonna yep. record nope. and then play it back in your face. Like y'all can later, fall like, for the banana yeah. and tell pipe, not me. Yep. Don't go for no context. He's gonna play some video, like, yeah, yes. but you said. But I'll and nonetheless, exactly. I'll, partic I'll participate. We're gonna give out the NFL midseason grades. Ephraim, you ready? Go ahead. Who's your who's the best team so far? The best team. Um I gotta agree, Pittsburgh. They are defeated. You gotta give it up. Worst team. <laughs> Worst team. Eagles. Chicago. <laughs> it's like no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I say uh the Giants. Your surprising team. I said well, Raiders ain't really surprised to me because I had a feeling they was gonna be pretty good. Um I say uh I go with Cleveland. I think Cleveland surprised me a little bit. They're a little better than I anticipated. When you got a surprise team. I thought you, you ain't finished, you ain't finished asking me my question. Oh, uh, best quarterback. Uh Patrick. Worse. Carson. Carson. Carson, <laughs> like, you gotta no. go, with Carson. He's a hater because the, no, ex um, the expectations is so high that the fact that Sean Watson is doing his, he's you, this you team. Didn't say, you didn't ask who was the expected. You said who is the worst quarterback. So if somebody has worse stats than him and is playing worse than him, they worse. I don't care what you is. Yeah, expectations. I'm surprised Houston stinks so bad. Who's your who's your defensive player of the year so far? Um. No, my worst quarterback actually probably uh, the bull Kirk Cousins. He he over in Minnesota stinking it up. Oh yeah. Um, uh, my best player, defensive player is Brandon Graham. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> Wayne, what do you got? I should have said that, that one. I should have said that one. I he said exactly what I've been saying about Brandon Graham, Mister One Play Game. Mister One Play Game. Take that, Wayne. Take that. You know, you know, I mean, you know, some people think Brandon Graham was better than Trent Cole, so you know, I, I can understand how you might think that. My Ooh. MVP, I'm gonna go. I'm a, I just, I, I'm not gonna go with quarterback. Quarterback is always the easy MVP to me. My MVP outside of QB is gonna be either DK Metcalf or uh, or the bull, which we call it, uh, 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 the bull Travis Henry. Nice, he, he, he balling hard. I mean, not what's the name? Is it Derek, Derek, Derek Henry? Henry? Derek, that's what I thought you were saying. Tennessee running back, right? Yeah, yeah. Derek Henry. Yeah, Derek Henry Bowman. All right, do it. You ready to do out the NFL picks for the week? Yeah, let's do it. What my was my record last week? How'd I end? Hey, wait, come on, play, do, do the draw. Don't worry about Tim, man. Answer the question. No. Oh, really? <laughs> wait, you know, I'm, tired, I'm tired for all that, man. I'm tired. Wait, why? Why you gotta act that way? Why you got Hey, Wayne, do it, Because Tim do this do all the time. Do Tim do this all the time. We sit here in the pre-meeting and we tell my stuff we going, we, all right, what are we going to talk about, Tim? Oh, well, we might talk some of this, that, and other. Then, you know what, then it pop it. up. And then they all said he wanted to ball a question out of nowhere. So who do you think was the greatest such? Like, you thought about this all day. Now you want to ask us on the spot to come up with something. All right, so Real Tim, quick. give us yours then. Give, give Real us, quick, give Tim, give though. What's up? Who got, who got COVID from the Eagles? Do we know? Mike Epps. Yes. Mike Epps. Yeah, I mean, is safety. that his name, Mike Epps? No, not Mike Epps. It's um, <laughs> Omar Epps. Epps is safety. Marcus Omar. Epps. Marcus Omar Epps. <laughs> hey, Tim, give, hey, Tim, give us your... Uh, Marcus Epps is safety. Give us your picks. Give your mid-season. I ain't one. really get you to think of it, but See, I like it. <laughs> Wait, you ain't get him no chance to think hurts. of it, but now you saying you ain't get a chance right. to think of it. Best team. I'm going to go with Kansas City. All right. Worst team. Of course, you got to go with the Jets. <laughs> My surprise team is um I don't even got a surprise team. Maybe the Browns. All right. Best QB. I'm gonna go with my boy Russell. Worst quarterback. <laughs> Carson <laughs> Wentz. The stench. <laughs> um best defensive player. I'm gonna go with Brandon Graham. There we go. Take that way as two people. You lost. My, my, my worst lost. quarterback. Be honest with you, the worst quarterback is probably Cam Newton. But Cam yeah. Newton missed a couple yeah. games. He had COVID. <laughs> Look at it. But that was different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, Cam had to stick it up a little bit. But go ahead. Which what, what was your last one? What was the last one? And my MVP is gonna be um, I'm gonna say Russell. 
All right, I'm cool with that. Right. Wayne, go ahead with yours. I'm not participating. Wayne, 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 Wayne acting real funny style, man. You sure I went the record, before I ever say Brandon Graham, the defensive player of the year, there's no way in the world I'm going to say that when there's an Aaron Donald in, in the league. But y'all can go ahead with Brandon Graham. All right, so as Yo, Derek know, Henry got 10 touchdowns already this year. Each year Donald still, has nine sacks. You know what? We still should have drafted Jason Pierre Paul that draft. Jason okay. Pierre. Oh, yeah. Y'all realize Derek Henry had a 212 rushing yard game with not an average 9.6 yards a carry. Oh, nice. how long how long is he gonna last? You think he Let's got two, go three more years left in the league? Because I'm still trying to figure out how Tim still. All right, I oh, I was born one last. Time. Told y'all back. You still all right, back. So, and you still bitches. in the back. You still in the back. So last week, no, Ethan is in the back. Who Ethan last? Who Ethan last? had a very if you, good. If you if you got to ask, <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all I was coming back. Y'all was hating on my picks. I should have been five and zero if it wasn't. First of all, uh, you, here you go, sound. Y'all was hating on my pick. Tim was all joining you up. Tim said, "There's some excellent picks, Ephraim." This is talking about something that people was hating on your picks. I know. Stop, you stop hyping yourself. You was hating Brandon. You was hating Brandon Graham. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was hating on Brandon Graham, but I wasn't hating on your picks. What's the game this week? All right, so we got Bears, Titans. Bears at the Titans. Bears and Titans. I'm going Titans. Which we call play? What game, did, what game did I lose? It was the Bears game, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it might have been the Denver game. Denver game. Ethan, what you got? Was, that Denver game cost me. Ethan left. Just come back to him later. All right, Wayne. I'm going to go Titans. You know who Tim going with. I'm going to go Bears. Nah, surprise, <laughs> really? <laughs> there you go. Shine just gripped him up. Titans. Look at his hair all roughed up. Dolphins and the Cardinals. <laughs> Punched him right in there, big four. Cardinals. The offense actually been playing all right. Um, I'm gonna still go with the Cardinals though. I don't trust the boy too. The new dude, two. What's his name? Tua or something. All right, Wayne. I'm going Cardinals. Ethan. I'm gonna go Cardinals, Cardinals. too. Come on, man. He's not following my picks. Like, yo, chill. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to Ravens. Ravens. Mm -hmm. Ravens and Colts. I'm going, uh, I'm going Colts. Colts going to shock the world. They're going, they're going, they're going to trick y'all up. They, they heating up a little bit. Ethan. Where they playing at? They you playing at the Colts. I'm going Turf. with the Colts. They 3 0 at home. Oh, good. I'm going Ravens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Saints Buccaneers. This is the return Bucks. of Antonio Brown. Bucks. I got Antonio Brown on my fantasy team, too. I picked him up early. And you I'm want going Bucks? Bucks? Yeah. Ethan. Drew Brees has not been playing well of late. He hasn't been. And the Bucks got a mean defense. I'm gonna go with Tampa. Okay. I'm going Bucks too. Oh come on, Tim. Oh no, we so the only thing we got to separate us is that Bears and Titans game. Yeah, everybody else got pretty much and the Colts and the Colts Ravens. Well, you and Ethan got the same picks pretty much. Yeah. All right, cool. Seattle it's at Bills. <clears throat> Seattle at the Bills. This is good. Go. I'm going Bills. I'm going Seattle. Bill's balling though. That young boy they got. What's that boy they got? The, the young boy. He a rookie too, ain't he? Or is it second year? Second year. Allen. Ethan. Josh Allen or something. Ethan, what you got? I'm going to go with Seattle. Oh, man. You just put the hex on me. <laughs> All right, did the, the they locked in? All right, I'll be four and one again. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> hey, 
Wayne, who your uh, midseason MVP? Me. <laughs> Wayne is a stubborn mule. Mule, he a mule type <laughs> type bull. And y'all know this. Yeah, that's true. You knew that was coming. So now, that's so that's we pretty Tim much gotta be stopped with this. Tim gotta be stopped with this. Listen, <laughs> there's too many times. Now I'm gonna put him on blast while we on the thing. All right, let me stop. Let me stop the recording. So no, no, because no, no, there's no. too many times. Stop it, like, Tim. Even, even after, even after we do the the whole thing, and we trying to say what we gonna say, what what we gonna put as the tags or the title, Tim would be like, um, um, I don't know. Then we'll all say something. Then all of a sudden, I'll wake up the next one and be like, Carson Wentz stinks. Like, like nobody can yeah, go find on that. Yep. Craig Carson yeah. Wentz, like that's not what we all said. No, no, no. Then he like come on here with, with. Then he come on here with topics out of nowhere, like all day long. Be like, yo, what we talk about tonight, Tim? Uh, I don't know. We might. Uh, uh, it might be. Then we get on here, and then while the light is on, who is your pick for the year? Like what? Uh, yeah, so you right. Y'all should be able to. You should be able to speak off the top of the dome and be in this other flow. See, if your mind, Wayne, mind ain't constantly like, working yeah. like that. Nope, he my mind at eight o'clock at night. I got he was a little sipping. bit of sleep last night. Probably, my mind is on La La Land. He was probably <laughs> sipping or something. Who y'all? Which games y'all? So what y'all watching? <laughs> we don't got no games this Sunday, so we probably be y'all won't come on. We probably come on Monday evening, talk some a little bit more. I'm good with that. All right, I'm gonna watch the Steelers put the thumping on Dallas. Oh yeah, they might. Dallas gonna win. Dallas gonna win that game too. No, they're not. I know they ain't. <laughs> ain't no way in the world with that game. That's a bad team. Why yeah. they? Why you ain't picked them as the worst uh, team of the year? Uh, that was actually a good idea. I know you didn't. Yes, I did. I just ain't tell y'all. <laughs> <All right, listen. laughs> so is Zeke coming back next year? You think? No, oh, he, no. He might as well leave. They trash. Dak ain't come. Dak don't come back. Ain't no point in Zeke to come back. Yeah, they might as well start from. If they get the number two pick, if they do go with quarterback, they're gonna clean house with everybody. That's crazy though. Just to think you starting over in four years, like you can four, four years ago, that was the franchise, and now you flipping already. It's crazy. Yeah. I don't think that was ever the franchise. I think it was always Zeke. No, it was, it was that I, again because they wasn't no because they wasn't expecting Zach to, uh, Dak to be that dude. That's why they picked him but, where they picked him, and it was like, oh okay, he good enough to play him, but he ain't good enough to win. All right, so Jalen Hurts being like Dak. Thank you for joining us. That's why I don't want to rush him in there. Podcast. <laughs> now we Especially because he get the Tim wet the Tim Whammy. Make sure you like us on Twitter, Facebook, Spotify, and YouTube. We'll see y'all on Monday after the games. Um, just word of advice to Carson Wentz. See, see, it's the foolishness. <laughs> it's the foolishness. I mean, no, instead of come, training come your home. dogs, will not yeah. you train your hands to not to throw interceptions? Yeah. Why don't you train your eyes? To not to take them sacks all day long. But you need to go through some hand train eye your eyes to not. <laughs> he needs to, he needs to go through some hand eye coordination. Yeah. Like, like you know how Steph Curry be like throwing them balls against the wall. He be catching them and all that. Yeah. Like, them all, catching them with one hand and one hand. Then he dribbling the ball. And then he throw the other ball. And he dribble. Maybe Carson needs to do something like that and get his hand eye coordination yeah. like on point. That's we why need to Steph start getting. We, we need to start getting uh, uh, some kind of meter that that measures how many times Ephraim draws. Steph Curry into a, a conversation that has nothing to do with Steph Curry. Bing. Every time he says it, he needs to like <laughs> Every a, time. Bing, Steph bing, Curry counter. <laughs> Steph Curry. counter I was in Wawa yesterday. Like, Steph Curry. Okay, Ethan. Okay, so if I got Steph, Ethan got LeBron. Ethan got LeBron. <laughs> hey, you be think... talking about? You be talking about anything else? You talking about hockey? He's like, yeah, but if LeBron played, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> nah. You know what I want? And all you know what I want? Wants to do more than throw, more than not throw interceptions. I want him to stop fumbling a ball. Yeah, yeah, can yeah. can he like remember how what was that a movie when the when the guy just walked around with the football? He he, he was the Titans. That was that one? Remember yeah. the Titans? Petey. That was Petey. Yeah. That, Carson Wentz. He right in his picture with his dogs. He should have had a football in his arm. Yeah. Fumble it, fumble it to him. Don't, I was going to fumble it to him. Like that <laughs> no. I was I that's what I said. I was calling him fumble it to him because every it always takes anybody a year later to catch on what I'm seeing. I'm like, yo, this boy is a fumbling machine. And then everybody this year, like, oh, he fumbles all the time. I like I've been saying that. Listen, Tim is I my brother that. and I love him, but I hate his face whenever we start talking about Carson Wentz. I, 
<laughs> Especially when Carson Wentz lighting it up. Like when Carson Wentz picking it up, he light. He he light it up like because he's so because he's so <laughs> whack with that. That's just like remember when Carson was playing decent. He was like, yeah, I'm rooting for Carson. Like this, this is what I wanted to see. Then as soon as he make like one bad play, see, I told y'all. <laughs> you we know what I do want to see more. We though? just want, I want him to do better. I want to see him start feeding Fogum. <laughs> I just want to see, at this point, Fogum is our best receiver on the team. I want to see him feed Fogum a little bit more. Aaron Rodgers, best quarterback Tank. in the league. Yeah, Tank catches. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. He, he behind Russell. He behind Mahomes. Mm-hmm. He behind um no, he ain't. He, even, he behind the ball in Buffalo. Yeah, right yeah. now, and right now I think it's a two horse race between no, uh Mahomes and uh oh, 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 don't don't forget the old man. The forty-year-old man. If the old man was that great, they wouldn't have to be stacking. The, they wouldn't have to stack the deck for him. They get he got all them receivers they throwing up on his squad. Yeah, his his offensive line they stacking is the deck blocking. for that dude. He got a real stopping. offensive line right now that's protecting the, him. And the best, he looks, Brady, he like the old Brady. The best. I, I mean, if I had to take two quarterbacks, I, I wouldn't necessarily rule Brady out, but I would lean toward Mahomes and Russell. They they playing. Oh yeah, without lights question. Out, lights I would out. definitely roll out Rage, roll out Rogers, and I definitely roll out. That ball hey. in New Orleans. I'm taking the ball from the Cardinals before I take Aaron Rodgers right now. I'll be honest with you. No, the short dude. Okay. No. Yeah. He balling, but I'm not taking him over. Here. I'm already Aaron balling. Rodgers probably like three or four on, on the coming up. It's probably between at the at the Russell and Wilson, and it's probably Aaron Rodgers and Brady for, for me. So at the Mahomes, at the Mahomes and Russell Wilson, and it's Russell Aaron Wilson, Aaron Rodgers. I like Aaron Rodgers. Over Watson and everybody else. And over, and yeah, over Brady, I like Watson. Not. Watson, I mean, Watson to me is probably six, seven, somewhere around there. Aaron Rodgers. Brady too? I said I said Aaron and Brady is like three or four to me. That's a lot of people that you miss that. And I, I, you want to take the ball Allen over right now? The ball Allen is playing? No. Let me let me ask one. you this, though. I, so I so, so Mahomes, Mahomes and um and Aaron Rodgers around the same quarterback rating. Who got the better weapons? Mahomes. Okay, I'm just saying it ain't. Mahomes it ain't makes them better. Remember that, Wayne. Mahomes, Mahomes makes, makes his weapons. Nah, better. Mahomes missed a couple said? games. Mahomes ain't that what you? Missed... That's what you said. You said Mahomes. the quarterback job is to make your weapons better. Ain't that what you said about Carson? Yeah, it is. But I also know that when when Mahomes wasn't there, they still won. When he was hurt, those couple games. No, they lost a couple. No, they did. He was they not. He ain't missed that many. Game. Stop it. They did lose a couple. Remember, I think one of the teams they played against was kind of whack too. One and then they lost one with him too. So what's the difference? Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in football. Y'all leaving our y'all. What about Ben Roethlisberger? Y'all leaving our Ben? Yeah, yeah. No, no. But remember, Wayne said Ben was trash. Though. Remember that? Yeah, Somebody yeah. Hey, email record that and, and play that back. What about Nick Foles? He stinks. Patrick Mahomes got twenty-one touchdowns and one pick. What do Aaron Rodgers got? 20 touchdowns and two picks. That's why I said they around the same. So, yeah, I, I, like I said, I'm taking Patrick Mahomes. How many touchdowns Russell got? Russell almost got like 30 touchdowns. Yeah, right? Russell got 26, but he got six picks now. He was sitting at like 21 with only one pick. Now yeah. he's sitting at the, now you're like the game. He threw like six. three interceptions. He threw like yeah, he, went, he, he had a little, little rough patch. What's his rating? Russell uh, rate. Oh, he still got the best rating in the league. He got 120. You taking, you're not taking Lamar Jackson? No, I'm no. not. I like Lamar, but Lamar got to get his pass again. I like the young boy Joe Burrow too, though. He's he's playing nice. All right. So we out. We see y'all Monday. Again, check us out on Twitter. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification up. But we out. Nice.